In this video, I will cover SDS, or the, well, that's short for uh, Safety Data Sheet, or Material Safety Data Sheet slash MSDS, that some of you may be familiar with. And I will take this from the perspective of an importer and or Amazon seller. Right, so I'm starting with the basics, explaining what an SDS is, products, when and why you need an SDS, how you get an SDS, which is when it gets quite tricky, at least for importers. But let's dive right into it. So, number one, what is a safety data sheet? It's basically a document, okay, that explains, it provides instructions on how to safely handle the product, how to label the product, and how to store the product. These are the basics, okay? Now, an SDS is, for example, required if you're importing and selling uh, lithium batteries or products containing lithium batteries such as power banks, uh, cleaning products, cosmetics, essential oils, pet care. Okay, you can if you're an Amazon seller or planning to become one, you can find a list uh, in the Amazon Seller Central where they actually explain um, what they classify as as hazmat, which does require an SDS in many cases. Okay. So why do you need an SDS? Um, number one, freight forwarders may require an SDS before you ship your product. They may not load your product, meaning they won't move your product without an SDS. You may have issues with the customs, you may have issues with retailers, and as I just mentioned, you will definitely have big problems with Amazon, okay? And market surveillance authorities may also reach out and request an SDS. So there's different scenarios in which you definitely need to have this 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 document. So how do you get an SDS? You can go to an authoring company, it's a number of companies um, offering SDS creation as a, as, as a service, right? So you pay like from 300 USD and up and they will then help you to create that SDS, okay? Um, one issue is that they need ingredients and I guess, okay, I'm actually not sure, but if you can't get that from your supplier, then they may need to to make some sort of like material analysis or something, which could cost more. Okay, option B, obtain an SDS from your supplier and this can become problematic, especially when the SDS is an afterthought in the sense that, okay, you find a supplier in Alibaba, you import a product, someone comes and asks you for the SDS, you go back to them assuming that, yeah, sure, they can provide that, and they don't even know what it is, right? Um, this can be especially problematic when dealing with trading companies, okay? Um, I, I think this also comes back to the ingredients, because the ingredients, in many cases, has to be covered by the SDS, okay? And they, in turn, decide how, um, you know, storage and handling and labeling and so on should be, should be conducted. Um, so yeah, uh, let's say that far from every supplier <laughs> can provide uh, data on ingredients. So yeah, I, it's, it, it can certainly be an issue. When you approach a supplier and you know that an SDS is critical, then you need to ask them for one up front. If you don't have one, you, need to, you have to look into an SDS uh, authoring company. So how do you get an SDS from the supplier? Well, as said, you ask before you buy the product. You cannot assume that they they have uh, one on file that they can send to you at any time. So how much does an SDS cost? Um, you go with an authoring service, you're looking at, I think UL is charging 300 something, like 299 maybe, something like that. Do you need an SDS with selling on Amazon? As I explained, yes, in case it's required for your product. So you need to look that up in the Seller Central. What's the difference between an SDS and an MSDS? SDS is, is a newer term. Um, that's at least what I've been told. <laughs> Could be wrong, I don't think so though. And just to keep in mind that many manufacturers and also importers still refer to it as a MSDS, which is the same thing. Well, it's, it, it stands for Material Safety Data Sheet. All right, if you want to learn more, you can get a free account um, on compliancegate.com slash free to sign up for our free product compliance information software.
and you can also subscribe.